Authorities in Alabama say the search for an escaped inmate and former prison official has come to an end with one person dead. The two fugitives were caught near Evansville, Indiana, following a car chase with U.S. Marshals. We got a dangerous man off the street today. Uh, he is never going to see the light of day again. Now, they'd been on the run for 10 days. They got a six-hour head start on us. They had plenty of resources, had cash, had vehicles, had everything they needed to pull this off. According to police, escaped inmate Casey White was driving a pickup truck when it crashed and he surrendered. We gained information that a vehicle matching the description of a suspect vehicle was near our sheriff's office. My first thought, oh my God, this could be this guy from Alabama. And you know, they can't travel separate, they're like this. He's short, he's tall. They're going to stick out like a sore thumb. They came through this grassy area. Uh, the, the Marshall's task force officers intercepted them, actually collided with them to try to end the pursuit. Uh, when this occurred, the female driver of the vehicle shot herself, and the passenger was injured. Uh, the main thing is we're, we're lucky that no law enforcement was injured, no innocent civilians were injured. The pursuit was short in nature. Police say Vicki White, a former Alabama corrections officer, died of a self-inflicted gunshot wound. The two are not related, but are believed to have developed a romantic relationship. She has been an exemplary employee. And what in the world provoked her or prompted her to pull a stunt like this, I don't know. I don't know if we'll ever know.